Hi right, guys, in this video I'm going to talk about increasing your value. Stick around and we'll talk about it. So if I go back to the time when I was living in the US, just getting a divorce and getting back out into the dating scene, I felt like my value was pretty low. You know, I entered back into the dating scene and I, I think I was 44 at the time or so, and I was started to date a girl who was, I think, mid-30s. And I actually thought, hey, I'm doing pretty good. I got a girl who's about nine years younger or so, maybe 10, I can't remember exactly. Decent figure, a little bit chubby, uh, looks-wise, just average, nothing spectacular. And, you know, knowing my value in the U.S., I thought I was doing quite good. But on a day-to-day -day basis walking around, you really live life almost invisible. Your value is actually quite low. So unless you are a super rich guy walking around, uh, your value fi with finances as well is quite low. And you know, when you come out to the Philippines, that's when you start to realize, wow, my value has just like shot way up. So let's just start with some of the obvious. Now, financially, you may be in the US or Australia, Canada, and just kind of scraping by. Then you move out here to the Philippines and all of a sudden your financial worth, uh, you know, your money that you're bringing in goes so much further. And that also makes you much more attractive, financially speaking, you know, for the Filipinas because you can offer them much more than the average Filipino guy. And second, uh, looks. Now, even if you're an older guy, you can bring value by, uh, you know, the light colored eyes perhaps, or, you know, your bigger nose, your lighter skin, they find all that attractive. So even if you're older, they still do find that attractive. Of course, you can increase your value by getting to the gym and eating healthier and uh, dressing a little bit nice, you know. I mean, it's just even this is just okay as long as you're not dressing like a slob, which I preluded to in my last video. And uh, speaking of, by the way, this video is kind of associated with are you the hot commodity, uh, you or her? And you can check out that video up above. So if you do those things to improve yourself and then with your finances, your big nose that they find attractive, your lighter colored eyes, your lighter colored skin perhaps, they find all of that attractive here in Asia. So you come out here and if you are able to give them a kid, that also increases your value because again, I've talked about this in previous videos as well. If you can't offer them a kid, that decreases your value quite a bit too. Now, a lot of girls initially might say, oh, you know, I'm okay with that. Let's say a 22-year-old girl you're dating. She might just see the initial relationship and see how well you're taking care of her. Oh, he's taking me here and there. He's buying me new clothes. Um, we can go out to eat whenever we want. And she might just see that immediate um, you know, money coming in and, and the, how life is treating her better financially speaking. But years down the line, she might start to think, yeah, you know what, I really want a kid. That biological clock might start ticking. So if you can provide a kid, uh, that makes your value much greater too. And they loved mixed babies here. So if you come out to the Philippines you really can increase your value because again I go back to living when I was living in the US and I've done a video on this as well but I really almost felt like I was invisible walking around I mean really you're not really noticed by a whole lot you don't get uh, girls turning their heads left and right staring at you not most guys unless you're still in your early 20s and just a stud but if you're, you know, I was 44 when, you know, I was divorced and kind of entering back into the dating scene. 
And it wasn't until I made a trip out to Davao in 2015 and then later at the beginning of 2016 I made a, a trip out to Thailand. That's when I started to realize, wow, uh, I have a much greater value, you know, in Asia. And that still stands true even today. Even though I have said in some of my previous videos, the dating is harder now. They're not as gaga over you as they used to be. Yes, I, I did say that and I do still believe that to be very true. But if you get out of the overcrowded cities with the expats, Dumaguete, Cebu, other places, uh, you're, you'll even increase your value even further. If uh, Again, even if you are just kind of scraping by in Australia or Canada or wherever, and you come out here, that income is going to go a lot further. And the average Filipino, I don't know, maybe 15,000 pesos a month he's making, and you come out here, that's around 300 US. And you come out here and you're making 1,500. And even though that may be nothing in the US, but here that increases your value quite a bit. So there's a lot of guys who say, well, you need at least 5,000. And yes, if you wanna live just the best life possible, sure, of course, as much money as possible is, is gonna be the best but you don't need that much money and it, it, again it depends on your lifestyle i don't want to get into this for this this particular video but the point is is your value goes way up you know uh, that 1500 in the u.s <laughs> you're scraping by you're not impressing anybody but you come here you can certainly afford dating and a pretty modest life looks wise again in asia they accept guys who are overweight. They are accepting of guys who don't really dress so nice. They accept guys who aren't the most handsome guys in the world. Again, if you can get to the gym and dress a little nicer and eat a bit better and take care of yourself, then of course your value is going to go up as well and you're going to feel more confident as well. So all of that is true. By the way, if you are moving or traveling out to the Philippines for the first time or even repeated trips, you can head over to my website, geointhephilippines.com, and you can click on the free PDF of moving or traveling out to the Philippines to help you better prepare. I think the, most, uh, the biggest thing is really seeing your value increase is just the way women treat you here. Uh, you can almost approach any girl here and you never will be just embarrassed or shot down horribly like you are in the West. And in the West, it can be vicious. They can just embarrass you in front of all their friends or be quite rude and straight to the point. Here, they don't really do that. It's really, they'll let you down nicely. If they're really not interested, they will let you down nicely. They won't even... Uh, sometimes they'll still maybe take your phone number or they, they might even give their phone number out because they want to not cause embarrassment or public, uh, any kind of public uh, disturbance or they don't want to in, in any kind of embarrassment out in public. So they might hand out that phone number. So you don't have to worry about that. The women here treat you much, much better. Again, I, I go back to, yes, there are bad Filipinas, the scammers that you'll meet online, and there's scammers, there are some scammers, of course you're going to meet in person, but for the most part, your value here in the Philippines is so much greater than out in the West, and you have to know that coming out here. Don't just uh, accept, uh, know your value, know that your value is greatly increased Forget about the way the women treated you in the West. Forget about even the finances that you were just scraping by in the West. You come out here, those finances are going to take you much farther. Again, you need to have steady income. You need to have yourself a, a safety nest, um, insurance. All of that's for another video. But the point is, your value financially, your looks, uh, the way you're treated, all of these things 
you will soon realize when you're living out here in the Philippines, even Southeast Asia, to be honest. So questions, comments, let me know. Again, check out my website. If you want a lot more videos, check out my patreon.com slash geo in the Philippines or my YouTube membership by clicking the join button under any of my YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Take it real.